Okay, here we are in, uh, let's say, well, I'm going to be very hopeful here and say the last video in the hovercraft section. Now, as you can see, I've started uh, the Unreal Tournament 3 game. Now, the way I've done this, instead of using the normal shortcut, I've made a copy of this, pasted it onto my desktop. Now, if we have a quick look at the properties, yes, I know it says Eigenschaft because it's a German Vista. Uh, if we look in the actual command line, you will see a little extension or a switch as it's called, hyphen or minus use unpublished. Now I'll just close that out and we'll go have a look at the, the directory setup. Now if you remember rightly, I saved our packages into the hovercraft, well into the unpublished custom vehicles. I'm just thinking about it. It's probably not going to be the last one. The last one's going to be publishing. But we'll deal with that next time. Anyway, now, obviously, for Unreal Tournament to actually see this content, we have to put in that Use Unpublished switch into the shortcut. So don't worry about that. It, the game works fine otherwise. But if you, don't, you, if you don't use that switch, all this stuff that's in here will not be seen. Now, the other thing that I mentioned at the end of the coding video is that we're going to use the XS Mod uh, Vehicle Replacement Set Mutator so we can actually see our vehicles on pre-built Epic maps. Now, when you download it and install it, it will only go into the published folder set. Now, all you have to do is copy it, as I've already done that actually, and paste it into the unpublished cut PC folder. Okay, because once it's installed there, you'll have all, all the stuff of the, co the, uh, the config settings in there anyway. So it just needs to hook up into the unpublished set and we can get going from there. Right, let's, let's get this in game and have a look. So we'll just go on to instant action, go on to war warfare, go on to use dusk, why Why do I use dusk? Well, it's one where I know where the vehicles are, <laughs> yeah, so that's one that I normally test on. It was the same with the Unreal Tournament 2004, where I just used one map to test everything that I was doing, so I, I'm a creature of habit. Now, what do we need to do now? Obviously, number of comp, all these normal settings, yeah, you're fine. Well, I'm going to try and set that down to one because I don't want to get wasted. Now, we'll go into mutators. Now, once we've got the mutator set in content or in the game, vehicle set replacement. Now, just double click that to get it into the enabled mutators, highlight it, click on configure. Now you'll get this come up, a nice little uh, uh, user interface, very very well laid out I believe. Now it's got, we're just going to do for the red, te red team set on the, this occasion. So it's a new set, we'll manage the new set. Yes, open from a previous session. Now as you can see here, I've used the, ma the Manta has replaced it. Somebody asked me to check out his tie interceptor and this is what I used. So we'll just go to the Manta, open the click and you'll get a nice little drop down of all the vehicles that are available. Now you can disable them but we want the Geo Hovercraft. Now you only get a short name there and obviously mine's too long. So we'll just click on that and yeah, it's cut off the front end as well. That'll teach me for having long names. So all we have to do with that is save set, go back to the main, accept, accept, and start get start the game. Now this could take a little bit of time. Now if you're not hearing any of the music or whatever from the game, that's probably because the way I'm, rec I'm just recording from my headset microphone 
So uh, you might hear a little bit of music, but I doubt it. Oh, here we are. There we go. Grab some weapons. Away. There we go. Lower things away. And oh, look at that. Our uh, red hovercraft. Isn't that smashing? Now let's jump in there. As you can see, my uh, character's sitting way too back, way too far back, but I suppose we can go in and there. Now, as you can see, we uh, it's, it's, it's sticking a bit because I'm recording. Now, yeah, there we go. We and doesn't seem to be jumping any, anywhere at all, but uh, I think that's one of the quirky little bits. But we can actually see it's in game and it's shooting and boom. Okay, right, let's just jump out. Yeah, seized up. Yeah, yeah. Wait, my fa my system's not exactly fantastic. Now let's see if we can get a bit of damage on this. Probably not working because it's my own one. Uh, more than likely. Let's just go, go and see if I can remember where. Well, use use a mini map. And we're going to go. Yeah, see you stop. Keep, come on, come on. Sometime today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the actual camera angle. Oh, what's gone wrong there? Hello. Oh, it didn't like that at all. I, I just hope, I just hope that uh, it's still recorded this. Now, as we c if we go over here, jump out, we will see the blue one. Uh, well, we didn't see the morph damage, but there's the dead mesh anyway. Okay then. Now, what we're going to do, we're just going to exit, exit out of the game there. And the only thing that was really bothering me on that, on that vehicle, and I'm not going to start the game up again, but just to show you where you can edit it, uh, if I remem remember rightly, is here. Uh, obviously the driver was sitting too far back, so you can actually put in here seat offset. Now it says minus 30, I suppose if we went to minus 10 that would sort things out. Okay. Now that actually looks fine by me. Now all I'm going to do is recompile this code and then we'll be happy with that. And you never know, I might make a complete set of my vehicles to go in with the the excess mod, mod vehicle replacement mutator. Which is something we can do, I, s I suppose, at this rate, probably about Christmas by the time I get it all done and up and running. But anyway, now that should keep us happy for the moment. And if you have any problems so far, don't forget, give us a shout on the on the Epic Forum. I'm sure you'll find me. And the next video will just be a case of how to, yeah, publish, as they say. C cooking your content and getting it ready to uh, send out to people. Okay, we'll leave it at that now then, and I'll say bye-bye.